It seems like nowadays we're constantly bombarded by celebrities, by the elites, by actors, entertainers, whoever, with woke propaganda, constantly pushing their worldview, their agenda on everybody else. And sometimes it goes so far as to cause real world harm. And in this case, that's exactly what happened. After woke entertainers, woke actors, woke musicians decided to bail out a disgusting individual who'd committed a crime, but they wanted to get him back out there on the street. And then something disgusting and terrible happen. Celeb Bank Bail Fund closes chapter after waiter shot by man at Sprang sues. Uh, this is from the Daily Wire. We've got another article on Breitbart right here showing the kind gentleman who shot a waiter 11 times just a few days after being bailed out by Hollywood elites. Celebrity-backed bail reform group shuts down Las Vegas chapter after bailing out man who shot a waiter 11 times times. This is insane. The left-wing bail reform organization discontinued its Las Vegas chapter after it was sued for helping bail out a repeat offender who shot a restaurant worker 11 times nearly a week later. The bail project, which has celebrities like Danny Glover, John Legend, and Richard Branson sitting on its advisory board, ceased its Vegas operations in early December and is currently restructuring. Well, maybe you should shut down for good because clearly you're not doing any due diligence on the people that you're helping out by bailing them out of jail after they commit a crime. CBS affiliate Kalas reported, citing the organization. The shuttering of the nonprofit organization comes after it became the subject of a lawsuit after posting a $3,000 bond in December of last year for serial criminal Rashawn Gaston Anderson, who is suspected of burglary at the time. Six days after being released, Gaston Anderson shot restaurant worker Cheng Yang Wang 11 times at the Shanghai Plaza Mall lo located in Las Vegas, Chinatown. Gaston Anderson, 24, was sentenced earlier this month to 7 to 18 years in prison after reaching a plea deal to be convicted on charge of attempted robbery and mayhem, both with deadly weapon enhancements. Wang did survive somehow. Imagine shooting 11 times, hitting the guy seven times, and he still is fine. It must not be a very good shot. He suffered seven gunshot wounds, including a punctured lung and stomach. In September, Wang filed a lawsuit against the Bail Project, Gaston Anderson, and Shanghai Plaza owner. Wang accuses the Bail Group of failing to consider Gaston Anderson's criminal history before they bonded him out, including his pending and past cases of burglary of a business, carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, two counts of grand larceny, and attempted grand larceny. They're going around as a bailing agency, bailing people out with little or no due diligence. And this is all coming from all this social justice, woke propaganda garbage. That's what this is. That's what happened in this instance. You have people like Danny Glover, John Legend, putting their money behind a project that makes them feel good. Look at them. They're so woke. We're so virtuous. We're going to bail these poor people who committed crimes out of jail early so they can continue to go and commit said crimes. Not even a week after getting released. And yeah, I hope this guy gets a lot of money from them. Uh, it's ridiculous. These woke Hollywood elites constantly pushing this stuff on everybody else. And while sitting there virtue singing about all the harm that's being done to society, they're actually causing real world harm with stuff like this. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.